Is your internet chilled out? Well, it seems to be sorted. Is it just after you start stream is not the time to try and figure out how to do a thing. I don't know how to do it. Um, I broke my live notification ping in Discord. And uh, I was trying to fix it. But I don't know how to on the site. I don't know how to take live notifications role because there's a space in the title so I'm just gonna leave it <laughs> it's fine <sighs> it's totally fine are we out of ads almost I'm sure there's an easy way of managing it I'll do that instead. That and that. Do we still have balloons active? Yeah, let's see. Okay. I just I just realized we still have balloons going, right? We don't have the balloons anymore. Save the balloons for a special occasion. There's something else. Uh, oh, come 
want it. Hmm. Nothing urgent. Um, I couldn't decide what to play today. Uh, my brain's been a bit weird. Um, the anxiety. So, um, we're doing this. It's hot. Brains are silly like that. Brains are so heck and silly. <laughs> um. Oh, why is my bag here? I got some flowers. They're already looking a bit tired. I got some flowers. Some pretty yellow roses. Yeah. Even my nose. I didn't bother arranging them fancy or anything. Um, from the grocery store. Our Publix were like, hey, you've been a member for a year, so you get a free bunch of flowers. And I was like, fuck yeah, I'm in. <laughs> I'll take that free bunch of flowers. Um, okay, I've turned the balloons off only because I want to save the balloons for a special occasion. Um, I don't think I have anything special planned for this week, so we're just going to do the old, you know, play it by ear thing. Um, which means we'll probably just end up playing on the server. I have heartburn. I just ate lunch before stream. Like, they had spaghetti and meatballs done on the instant pot, which is like my favorite way of doing them because like the, the meatballs cook in the sauce. Um, I don't know why to do that for the meatballs. Hi, Toast! Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Apparently it's given me heartburn. Let me just... <laughs> Take something for that so I don't end up doing lumpy streamer burps. I don't want to do lumpy streamer burps. These are the weirdest antacids ever. Look, it's a square pill. Who ever saw... Whoops. A square pill. Fucking weird. <laughs> Or, oh, what else? Our pool sprung a leak. We had it for two weeks. It's already gone. Um, the heat that we had, we were able to get in the pool on Monday. Um, which was great because it was like 99 degrees. Uh, so we went out for a bit of a splash in the morning before lunchtime. We went to go out to it yesterday and Flynn's like, I think it's got a leak. And I went out and it had like... <laughs> it had shrunk considerably um and uh one of the seams uh basically split like it's it was a laminated material hi wine so it was like the canvas and then i guess like another kind of liner or something had basically delaminated and it had just come apart at the same. So we think it was a combination of like poor quality and just the heat. Um, so we've ordered a proper, a proper one, not like <clears throat> a fancy one, but like a name brand one that comes with a guarantee. Um, so I was out there this morning emptying out the old one properly and making sure the ground was open so we could like dry it all off and. Pain in the butt. And then I had 
just to let you know what level of anxiety I'm dealing with right now, I was worried that the whole draining, which was less than a thousand gallons of water, was going to open a sinkhole in my backyard. And I kept on waking up thinking there was a sinkhole. <laughs> It's like, the water dispersed really far. It's, it's like, it's just silly. Brains are silly, man. Brains are so silly. Um, like, I know it's fine. So, so yeah, we're, we're doing the comfy. Yeah. It literally, my, my yard is sand. Like, it's fine. Um, like, I have no doubt that the backyard is already, like, bone dry. Just brains be braining. Sorry, but that's okay, because I'm here, and I have you guys, and I have coffee, and I had spaghetti and meatballs for lunch, or pasta and meatballs for lunch, so... Like... It seems like a pretty good deal. So we're going to find a new home because the home that I picked on our server. Um, hi, Abe. The, the, the home we picked on the server was fine until winter arrived. Um, and then it got really fucking cold. Um... So I decided to to take off. So we've done like a, oh, you'll be able to see on the map. Y yeah, I'm moving south, but not like super south. Not like south, like ape and toe south, but like a little, little bit south. So I still get the seasons, but I don't freeze my tits off. Not that Sarahs have tits, but you know, because I I really. Yeah, exactly. Like, I like I don't mind a little bit of snow. I don't mind seeing it. I just don't want frostbite. Um, so I picked kind of like the right. L it's I think it's latitude, right? The one that goes horizontally. I'm pretty sure there's latitude. I've picked I've picked like the the number range where I want to be. Oh god. Whoa. Server, are you okay? Oh, hey! Amelia's on the server, too. Wait, shrimp with a few silly pasta and some chat. Ooh, that sounds good. Exactly why. So, let me just... Okay. So, it's gonna take a while for the map to load. Uh... Fuck me. Okay, so... <laughs> Come on, game. Come on, you can do it. Uh, so, this is the spawn location up here. Um, so, this is where my original little place was. This is where Ferdinand the cow is. Actually, it's Ferdinand the second now. I ate, I ate Ferdinand. Uh, but Ferdinand the second has taken on the role. So this is where my base was. And then I went for a little explore and found, and, and I went to, oh god. Why is it so stuttery? Down here, all the way down here. This is Toast and Ape's place. Down here. So that's like 8,000 units south. And then, this is, you can see where I did this like big wiggle around, exploring the oceans. Like, I did a lot of travel. This was all yesterday, basically. Traveled up and down all these coastlines. With the goal of heading east, it kind of about this line. Um, so you can see I'm sort of got onto it properly. And so now I'm like, 
get. Nearly 10,000 units east of spawn. I can't zoom out the map any further. The wild east. Yeah, I found... So this is... This is spot... I was thinking about these caverns, Toast. About how interesting it would be to, like fill one of them with like arable dirt and make like a little jungle inside one of them. Toast and Ape found this cabin like a couple of days ago and it's this massive cabin with like stalagmites and stalactites and water and it's really neat. It's under this big mountain system and there's nothing scary in it. And there's a translocator nearby. But I'm not a fan of the desert, but I'm like, I could make an oasis. So this is one potential spot. But. What? Hello! I'm, it's going to take so long to get there. Hi, Alpha. This was another place that I liked the look of. But it's probably a little too far north. It was like this really pretty headland with um, water and like a lagoon. So I I don't know. I just decided I'd travel east until I found something I liked. And if I ran out, then I'd just go west. So this is where we are now. I have, I have conditions. So I want to have like limestone or chalk biome uh, it's got to be green um i want water i, I mean like i'd like a lagoon or a lake uh, so this is this is an area that i was looking at uh, last night before I logged out but I was so jaded from just like looking all day that I decided to stop um, it's got to be green I don't want to be in the tropical biome um, so I th think this is like yeah this is shale and Heritage, so like again this is kind of pretty but it's not it's not quite right but there is lots of oh and it also can't have very common rain because i love the sound of the rain in game but it gets so overwhelming so quickly so i'm basically looking for like the goldilocks spot here Probably find some food before I back in the wood. I mean, I kind of like this outlook. I think this is pretty. I also haven't decided like what sort of vibe I'm going for. Like last time I built this weird sort of like I don't know, not quite modern home. And the time before I did, I did a hobbit house. So I don't really know what. What the target is this time. So I'm open to suggestions. I guess I could just get some sunflower seed. I kind of originally last time I wanted to make kind of like a, a fairy tale cottage, which I never got around to doing. But then it's kind of hobbity. So pretty hobbity. And I decided searching in winter would be the best time. Like a house on chicken legs? Oh, I was thinking more like... Hi, Ray. 
Harvey. Um. Also. Like, like, I don't know. I mean, almost Baba Yaga, but not like Eastern European on legs. I'm very intrigued with like the Polish folklore, Eastern European folklore, but I was thinking more Germanic. Like, the Baba. Whoa, hey, what's that? What's that? Ravio, I'll have to add a a command just for you so you can keep on saying soul soul well what's under it is the question the buzzing of the bees is fine Right. It's fine. Look at that. It's totally fine. Now let's put everything back before we anger the gods any further. random thing I found well I don't know I, I didn't really find it so much as it found me well, good use the bees didn't attack so it can't have been that bad Yeah, the goal was originally to, to like scout out a location during winter because then I'd get like an idea of like the average low temperature and then I could work from there. However, it's it's now March, so it's the end of winter. And I still haven't found a place. So this is fine. So we're 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 yeah, we're kind of need to go uh, see that's the thing I get torn because I just want to go like directly east but I also want to see if there's like the continuity of the ocean across the top there <sighs> yeah uh, I had someone DM that to me with the same comment, but about Dell's wallet. I have officially decided that I'm not buying into these festivals anymore because I know I'm going to sound a little bit like old lady yelling at clouds. They're coming so thick and fast, these Steam Next Fests and demos and cozy things and survival things and it's just too much I'm, it's like oversaturation I don't I don't know <laughs> um yeah 
Um, but it's like, it's, it's like my, my inbox, my inbox is just like swamped with people like, hey, play this demo, get this demo. I'm like, I don't, I appreciate the offer, but I don't want to, I don't want to play demos. There's so many full games out there that I'm enjoying. I was like, I'm done. I, I'm not doing any more demos. It's still going until the th yeah, there's just, there's too many overlaps. And I also, I kind of worry that it's just, it's going to have a negative effect on like indie, ga indie games because everyone's just going to get to a point where they're saturated like sale after sale after like it's a non-stop cadence now so everyone's gonna be like yeah i i keep swinging between like doing them or not but like i have limited number of hours for streaming games and uh, demos just I mean, I could play the demos, but if I'm going to play a game, I'd rather just wait. There's been a couple of times where I've played a demo, really enjoyed it, and they're like, yeah, yeah, play the demo and we'll give you the full game. And then I've not been able to get the full game, and it's like, well, shit. <laughs> Like, uh, Steam Wheel Build absolutely loved the demo. Uh, I had so much fun playing the game. Um, and I understand that they're, like, really useful. But it just, like, I just, I, I couldn't get the full game when it released. I always seem to get a little bit, I don't know. But I think I'm just a bit jaded by the by the constant things. Yeah, it, it's just like the first couple of times it was fun, but it honestly feels just like it's next fest constantly. Um. But yeah, I was like, I'm I was almost contemplating getting asking to get taken off some of these mailing lists. But, made it, but then, like, Odd Sparks, I had an absolute blast with. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being grumpy today. I used to be really picky about early access games, but some games just never get out of early access. Yeah, no, that that's that is a good point, Wine. I I need to be better about being kind to myself. That's okay to not want to do something. <laughs> that reminds me of a conversation soul mask is it i think i saw vic play that right that's true it, i think it's it's not not gonna be it's like yeah not not this time yeah well there's definitely like there's a lot of pressure as a content creator like you know, keep up with the latest and greatest and all the new things. Yeah, I definitely, I think I caught, I may have caught the very beginning of Soul Mask. And then maybe... I was Dave playing it too? I think I saw her play it with someone. But what I do, I do enjoy watching other people stream the games from the next fest. Yeah. So like, seeing everyone get excited about all the different games coming out, I love that. I really enjoy that. I just can't do it. 
Yeah, yeah, I just want other streamers to do it for me. I feel like sometime in the recent weeks, I started reading chat messages faster. No? I think what, well... I use, I use a program called Discord Transparent Chat Overlay that sits over my games. And for a while, it was a bit laggy. Um... So, like, for a couple of months, I think it was before an update. I did, actually, Baird. I, I put a six-second delay on chat, and I completely forgot that until now. My god, that's brilliant! Now it makes me look like I'm reading chat faster. Beard's like just over here, oh, like a modern modding it up. Um, but I did also update my chat overlay program, which was a couple of versions behind. So I have my chat is like literally like at the top middle of my game screen over my game. One, yeah, just stuff you. Just says Dell, be nice to Dell. I mean, that's kind of what the origin of the the be healthy command was, because I wasn't wasn't being good. Yeah. You have your moments. Yeah, that was yeah. I actually added. Well, see the the six second delay I added on last week. So it's not much, but apparently it's significant. I didn't think about it making it look like I was reading chat faster, though. I like that. The, th the thing is, I think if I had a command that said Dell be nice to Dell, I would stop hearing it. I I don't think anyone's quite quite like Bakma. Bakma is a very special, unique human. Very talented. Which reminds me, I need to give him the dates for when I'm going to be up in Ohio. <laughs> He's pretty great. Okay. Robo Angel. And you never know when he's around. Like, all of a sudden, someone will say something in chat, and then you'll get like a, a DM will pop up from Buckmer, and you're like, oh, I gotta look at this right now, because you know it's gonna be something worth looking at. They would make it very tricky to drive around. Uh, yes. Let me see if I can. How do I? How do I mod my own moderate my own channel again? Uh, settings moderation. Yeah. So it's in settings and then moderation and then it's in chat options um, underneath the option for block hyperlinks there's a non-mod chat delay and the maximum you can have is six seconds he's very talented yes I'd send you the link, but it wouldn't work.
Once I, I have salted caramel brownies in my hot little hands, I will consider it. I'm 100% open to bribery. Especially when it comes to things being salted caramel. Well... <laughs> Beard. Um... I was like, well, actually, I'm gonna be driving through- maybe driving through the Carolinas. Actually, I don't know which route we're taking. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Soma's here! Hi Soma! Soma's here to, to, to seed chaos, as always. Thank you for the fantastic entry. Yeah. Where am I? 4239. You're automatically summoned. You know, my the best cider I've ever had was from a small town in the Carolinas. I cannot remember if it was North Carolina or South Carolina. Donate me. Um, it was like I was on a road trip. We we're going through the Carolinas to go into over the mountains into Tennessee. Um, and. We were stopped through this little tiny town and it was like one road on a steep hill, like literally one road town, and it had this uh, cider press, the shop that sold fresh cider, and it was so fucking good. Biggest thing ever. I feel like we're... Uh, we're getting closer here. I just need the sun to come up. I'm very intrigued by this headland. No, not hard cider. Cider cider. Fresh cider cider. I went with, it was a road trip with Flint's mom and we knocked out like a half gallon bottle so quickly just between the two of us. Um, yeah, it was really, really good cider. So we, we like chugged one bottle and then we got a bottle frozen. And then we just like stored it um, in the back of the van. And then we had like fresh cider for this like road trip. We just like every time, like, like we just melt enough to have like a little cup full every now and then. Um... But yeah, we just had, it was a really lovely trip. The squat and gobble. Soma, stop it, it's not. Yeah, it was like a little, little town, like a one on a hill, one street up. Like all the shops were on like one street, like the main road. Make sure you got safe search on before you start looking for squat and gobble. Just saying. I'm, I, of course, you do. <laughs> I'm sensible. Um, but yeah, it was just really yummy cider. It's like one of those things that I just remember, and it makes me drool to think about it. Okay, the picture really doesn't help, Soma. The road sign does not help at all. It's a state of mind situated in Old Town Bluffton, South Carolina. 
It is the oldest continuously operating family-owned restaurant in Bluffton. Well, that's lovely. Catering services. We squat where you want to gobble. Really? Hmm. <laughs> right. Yeah, I I have no idea. And you used to make fun of sheets, exactly. Um, I wonder if I can find Thank you, Soma. Soma's like comes in here, shares the curse chaos, and then buggers off. It's perfect. Let me see. I bet I could figure it out. All right. Somewhere between green, somewhere in Greenwood? Oh no, oh no, Greenwood, that was, that was a fucking weird place. Hang on, let's have a look. Wait, I think I found it. Saluda? Saluda, North Carolina. I'm pretty sure this is this is it. It's a mountain town. So I'm gonna send it to me in DM. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure this is the place to hit the cider. Maybe. I was like looking at my Google travel timeline and it's the only place in the Carolinas where we like go off and then do a road turn and then come back. And that was back in 2015. Oh my god. Uh, apple cider. Aluda. North Carolina. Apple Orchard Salute at I'm so excited that I found this place and I'd not even thought about it. This, I, this is 100% the place. But I, I don't know. It was like right on the, the main road. Anyway, so now you know. Saluda, North Carolina has really good apple cider. <laughs> that was definitely it, because I remember thinking, haha, salada is in the crackers. Okay, I'm still waiting for the sun to come out. I 
I don't know why I never thought. Um, to check on Google Timeline before. I guess chat inspired me. Sometimes. That's crazy because this was like 2015 and pretty sure I didn't have data then. <laughs> my my phone wasn't that fancy. I, must, I think I was using my phone to take photos and then like I probably had like a crappy track phone. I still have a crappy track phone. But. You know, man, I feel like this could be interesting. This is like the mouth of a river. <clears throat> but the only thing here is it's like mm. redwoods are. Redwoods mean the rainfall is very common. But also amaranth. Otherwise, it's like pretty sparse. Like that looks a bit boring. Let's go down river. I was kind of intrigued by like trying to build here and like you no know, these drawbridges. With the medieval mod, there's drawbridges. I'm still really... What is that? I get so distracted. It was December when I left my house and it is now March. Sunlight, please. Oh, God. <sighs> um, oh. I'm sorry, what? Uh, values patched. No. see anything <laughs> I 
Let's back up. Let's see if I can see anything in the logs. Now I need to go to where the older one. Say well, it said save before it crashed. Um, yeah, we all got yeeted at exactly the same time. Oh, server. Couldn't add entity chunk D B put unhandled exception in thread. What is entity 401609? Good chunk errors. Oh god. Okay, is anyone else having... Some, I don't know what this means. Port unhandled exception in thread chunk. It does a, a full backup every morning at four o'clock, four a.m. Eastern, um, and then every eight hours. So if things get a bit janky, we can always try and roll back to an earlier save. It might fix itself at next restart. I don't... I don't know if I can get over there to fix it easily. No, it happened again. I got, just got yeeted. Well, 
why did only Abe get yeeted? No? Point one gig of four gig of RAM. That's fine there. You were chopping wood. loading block entity micro block for block and a chunk will discard it exception of those I don't know what happened with this nope I just got used to it again I'm sorry I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I guess so. It was literally fine yesterday. No, it's, I don't know, because it's saying that there's a fatal error. So it's not a network thing. And the good thing is it only takes like a minute to reload. It's not RAM or CP load, you load, CPU load or anything. Switch it onto this screen so it's easier to read. <laughs> So the one thing we did yesterday was add the shelf mod. Critical era. Adventure story game content with a simulation snow accumulation. Oh, crash file. Data logs server crash. Data logs server crash. Snow. This is weather simulation snow accumulation. I don't know. I Drax. The snow? I think. I 
I'm I'm not really sure on how to debug all this. Oh, I guess I have time. That looks fine. So what it's all right. <laughs> Thank you, wine. I'll try. I mean, if you think you can. Moved aged firewood into basket. It does, it reboots fast. I mean, I'd rather it didn't crash though. I clicked slot three in basket, moving 10 aged firewoods. I don't see any mention of, of vegetable broth. So that's something. The network get spikes a bit. Maybe it's me that's doing it. Oh, I'm not swimming. All right. I'm sorry, Luna. I'm sorry, guys. What if it's just me looking at the map? Probably, yeah, mm hmm. Like the RAM usage is staying really stable. Well, I guess I'll just keep on and. If it's anything like the, uh, the pounder. Well, it's specifically like the bug that I saw the, the, in the crash file specifically said snow accumulation. You made VG broth earlier. What is that? Well, see, now I'm wondering. I'm wondering if it's the path mod. Actually. Because the path mod will yeah like the path mod will clear um clear snow but please i don't want anyone to think it's their fault Why are there always bees here? <gasps> Dre! 
Rex, this is another one of those... Like in the mountain. Am I going to anger the gods? That, yeah, that is very clearly a pie symbol. Well, see, the thing is, I did dig underneath a thing and Ravi was like, don't, don't do that. And I did. And then the server started crashing. They're going for the locust. I mean, the thing is, I don't, I don't have space for any of the loot in here. Oh, the bees are still doing their thing. It's a bee. I the. The bees are still going. So yeah, I I'm wondering if it's the path mod. Because every time technically every time you run over a block, you're changing the state of the block you're running over. I guess a way to test it is to have someone run through the snow again. Chuckets! So Drax, how did you how did you fight end up feeling about uh that game? I, f I felt kind of sorry for you when dude was like so do you like it now? And I was like, oh no, don't ask someone that when they're streaming. That's really me. Oh, that's good. You could kind of see that you were sort of defrosting towards, well, not defrosting, but like warming up like into it, I guess. I guess technically defrosting and warming up are the same thing. That's kind of how I felt about the first one. Like, it was cute and clever, but the pacing didn't quite hit for me.
Oh yeah? That's a shame. You gave it a good go though. Like... You played it for quite a while. I'm gonna move you over. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Hold up. There's a whole bloody building right down there. I can see the shape of it. Maybe if I can get to it, it doesn't seem like it's that deep. Oh, God. Oh, God. I was like, please, please let this not have locusts in it. Welcome back, Amelia. Yeah, like. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Vintage Nordica? Mmm. Woo! Alright. Somewhere around here. Ruin. Sure. That'll do. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Definitely need a scuba tank for that win. Okay. Is it is it snowing where you are, Amelia? Out of curiosity. I wonder if there's some snowman near me. I, f I feel like that is a thing. It is not. Okay. Okay. Dell's new mission is find snow, I guess. I spent months trying to get away from the snow. And now I'm like, now I need to find the snow. Oh, this is looking better. This is there's trees here. Where are we at? Four six hundred. I was I was so close to setting the like the underwater breath limit for like an hour. And then I'm like, no, because I'll never come up to the surface. I'll just turn into Spongebob. Yeah, I'll build a pineapple.
Do you know, I've never watched an episode of Spongebob. Okay, that makes me feel better. I think it just landed at like the wrong time. And in my head, I kind of just paired it with like, There are a bunch of cartoons that kind of had a like a, a grotesque what I call like a grotesque art style like um Ren and Stimpy and Two Stupid Dogs and there were a couple of other shows and I kind of lumped them all together into like a eh kind of pile Um, Flint and his mom used to watch it all the time, but it just, I don't know, it just never appealed to me. All right. I don't know, when did it release? Sponge... Hi Luna! Oh, you're gonna do a sign Luna's you're gonna do a science for us? 99. That late. I was in the fucking pub. I was absolutely in 1999. I was far too obsessed with drinking my wages. <laughs> then I didn't have time I didn't have time for this whole, you know watching TV bullshit. In 99, I was my first year of university. So I would, like all good university students, get up early afternoon, get dressed. Well, actually it was late morning because the, the bar on campus opened at noon. So I would be outside the door of the bar at campus for it to open and then I would basically sit in the pub and then I'd go to class and then come back to the pub in between classes. If I had an evening class it was kind of touch and go if I went um, and I would be there until bar closed every day. Somehow I passed first year. And I probably would have done okay second year, but the bar manager was like, you're in here all the fucking time. Do you want a job? <laughs> and I was like, okay, I guess. <laughs> sure. Oopsie. And it wasn't that I didn't like cartoons, because I loved cartoons. Like I would go and watch Tom and Jerry with Granddad. He had, he had all of them on video. Yeah, I'm not seeing I'm not seeing any unusual activity on the server. Like traffic wise, like network memory, CPU load. If it happens again, maybe we should take the, um, the pathing one off. Well, if, if we get the same error log coming out. But yeah, so I never watched Star Spongebob, but I like I, I know enough to know like Spongebob and Squidward and Krabby Patties. But that's it. 
I can see that Luna found some quartz. The logs, they do tattle. So it came out after Red and Stimpy. That's interesting. Way after, yeah, because Ren and Stimpy was when I was at high school. So it was like early to mid late 90s. 91? Oh my god. That was when I was in middle school. No, they are not. Like, I can see that now. But. Yeah, I think it, it kind of got made more for adults, I think, didn't it? Or a marine biologist. I wanted to be a marine biologist when I grew up. But I was like fascinated with shells. I had so many drawings of shells. Like all the girls are like, I want to study the dolphins. And I was like, yeah, dolphins are cool. But I was like obsessed with shells, with like the spirals and shells. Okay, we're just we're waiting for the sun to come up because I I don't know what this area looks like. This this is a problem. Daisy's doing a snooze and she looks very cute. Why is it so dark? So honestly, I don't know why I'm waiting around to look because this isn't the right biome anyway. It, it... Thank you, Drax. You know, you're right. The amount of eye rolling that would occur if if we somehow went to a bar together you would be able to hear the exasperated sighs from everyone else in the room they would just be like oh fuck's sake like molly would just be like i'm gone i'm out of here <laughs> and rightfully so Can, nighttime being dark. Well, now I just have to get to the edge of the world. That's my mission now. My new mission. Sure, I might find somewhere to live. Failure code. Oh, never mind. Luna's trying to stand on a block as they place it. it it's there, right? Yeah, it's there. It is creepy the amount of information you can get from these player logs. can't be much yeah i was like there can't be much more of the world to discover i don't think i made it that far did i i 
cannot fix item stack mapping. Item block 1767. How do you find out what these block IDs are? Fuck me, that scared the shit out of me! Ooh. Funky! Thank you for the Maxwell invasion. I'm a cow, so like, moo, or whatever. Like... It startled me so much that, like, I got, like, the fizz. I didn't wee, but I fizzed. No, like, full body fizz. I posted it. Yeah, that was that was like a followed by a hot flash. I posted the info in the in the Discord there. Yeah, you, you, 10G is good value for money. Funky, those leggings are fucking fabulous. I love them. They're so soft. And uh, there was a there was a hole in the cashew bag, and all the cashews fell out. was such a baby. It was a delicious, delicious accident. Oh. That was a lovely treat, thank you. Okay, here's the quandary. Do we follow the coastline or do we keep going east? But yes, I love them. Thank you. might be or it might not <laughs> in console or in game you're being busy, but that's okay. I know you're being busy. Uh, choose a sub command. Your list. Oh, here we go. Jesus Christ. Okay. 
And what was the number? Again? I've lost it because the server just the numbers. One seven six zero. You're first. Oh, okay. Well, that'll be easier. Get ID. No mapping. The one seven six seven. No mapping for block code one seven six seven. after you quite a lot okay what well, does say that cannot item block id 1767 not found yeah he's always like what's punky up to so let's see there's nothing in that number range Thought that might indicate he has his moments. Is that going to cause stuttering? What is BIR block identification? something caller must be player oh do i have to do that in game One new block is missing. Interesting. So it, it's there's a basically a block missing. I can't do it through console, I can do it in game. Yeah, it just says old underscore block is missing. What is old? Old block. What does that mean? That's obviously a label. I still think this is to do with the pathing mod. Are you calling it old block? My completely unexperienced brain is thinking what is happening is the pathing mode 
writes a new block and when you run over grass or whatever each time and the one underneath it might be getting called an old block just for indexing I don't know if that's how it works but in my head this is what's happening But I don't know. I don't know how the fuck all this works. bloody is look old block is a parameter it says it right here in this patch note from geology so there's a an event api change when the block has changed now it has a parameter of old block versus new block look at me i'm doing a smart Maybe. Or I'm just making shit up. Specifically, this is the thing that it's relating to. I don't know what, it, what to do with it, but I think that's what's happening. On the old blocks won't dirty. Old block would be the pre- yeah, that's what I was saying, uh, why I think it's the pathing mod because every single time we're running over a block, the block's state is changing, isn't it? It's getting re remarked. <laughs> Old block dot or had a fine B I B I R. Postal exploration it is. Whee! Oh, this is quite pretty, isn't it, around here? Uh, oh, this isn't too far south. Wait, is this snow? <gasps> Maybe we found it. Did we find our home? Found? Find? Maybe? This is interesting maybe it's a bit a bit hilly but nothing that a shovel can't fix I don't know why I have this thing about just like wanting my own private bay or lagoon. I'm not I'm not feeling it here. Not digging it here. Oh. I guess we're following the coastline now. Try to get block outside generating chunks. Set runtime environment debug out of range block access to above. Now I want to learn how to do all this stuff. Oh. Just 
did those um did the lighting get fixed up in the the server hiccups toast like it all seems perfectly stable now i fucking said it we're done oh you're away from the area I'm waiting for Drex to log on just to make some VG broth, just to give me a, a, a taste of the old broth medicine. Fruit tree. How do you, oh, it's a cherry tree! Oh. I don't like cherries, but I bet that would be pretty. Ugh. Oh, sure. I totally meant to climb the tree. Um, that's totally what I meant to do. I just, I'm not a fan of these big rocky bits. I'm so picky. What the fuck? Like, it's pretty, but the dirt is the wrong color. But I'll mark the cherry tree. The dirt is important. Oh. Hello? <laughs> Amelia's like, for fuck's sake, Del. Oh. Oh? Oh no, claystone isn't the dirt. Look, it's important. Okay. <sighs> okay, technically it's not the dirt that's the problem, it's the rocks that are the problem. I want, I want limestone for my film, for my forever home. I need limestone. Okay. Not granite, not shale, not conglomerate. Also the number of times that I've almost drowned myself by trying to equip my bed instead of my raft. I so am, Amelia. I am just like, you know, you get the the Changing Places TV shows where you get the, the British couple who are all like so poncy and stuck up. And they want to live in like the restored barn, but they don't want it to be old because of the creepy history, but they don't want it to be new because they want a vintage feel. And they want to be close to the city but they don't want to be too close to the city because of the traffic and it's harder with the school zones but they don't want to be too far away because like country people it's so hard yeah and they not they want that for five dollars Yeah. That we do, yeah. Professional bunny walker, bunny, echo bunny managers, yeah. I used to love watching the those shows like trading places and stuff not the weird relationship ones oh you you know that's gonna be a meteor or not fine fuck you um 
but like the housing ones i'd really enjoy watching when i lived in england because it was when i was playing sims 2 so i just sit there building houses watching all of these like house shows it was just like happy place why can't i use playstone to make lime look now i'm getting now i'm being the game is gatekeeping chemistry from me because the rock is the wrong wrong type I was always really envious though of like the barn conversions or like the old churches that people would buy and convert into these big beautiful old houses. Look at that! That's like a tower. A stripy tower. Oh, what's up there? I have to go have a look up there. I can get up there. Ow. Oh god, it's gonna go badly. Ow. You know what? I don't really need to get up there. Oh look, there's a traitor. I hear goats. Huh? I don't think I've ever seen Cyrillic names on a character in game before. I think we're gonna call him Bob. You found a few with Cyrillic names? Okay, interesting. I think I think Cyrillic script is so pretty. Not pootery, that's something else. Pottery. Not pootery. Ow. Okay, we can't can't do the birds today. Two hips here. The game sounds so much better with headset on anyway. Now I just feel like Leia with the. That looks like it's getting a little tropical over there. Do we reckon this is gonna close up? I think it will. I'm getting further from the edge of the map as we go. It doesn't matter. There's always gonna be berries to eat. Or bamboo. I 
it always intrigues me when you find when you swim over an area of ocean and then you hear a waterfall it's like there's got to be something really interesting in there I love that I've still got my little pink vest and my, my little necklace. Not redwoods. No, oh, thank you. Too rainy. Oh, I could have your own private island. If I stopped hunting and just found a spot, by the time next winter rolled around, I would be set. But apparently, nope, I got a Magellan. some pretty cool stuff though i keep thinking about that cavern though so toast and ape found this really neat like cavern set of cavern lakes kind of like in my single player game but without the um locusts raining from the ceiling which is an instant improvement improvement improval And I'm not a fan of living in desert areas, but we could reforest it. And I could turn one of them, one of the, the caverns into like a biodome. That would be kind of cool. Also, it was really hard to not play um, No Man's. I, w I was tempted to play No Man's Sky today. Very. There is, yeah, there's kind of everything nearby there. It's just so dry. I could just collect lots of dirt and put the dirt over the sand so no one could see all the sand. Oh. It'd be like there was no desert there after all that. My god, that would be amazing taking dirt donations so that I can fix the desert. You got dirt? this. Well, sure, I don't mind if I do. Oh my god, I love it when this happens. Like, natural tunnels. You have to go up and down them. Is... Is the music okay? I just realized it sounds really loud for me, but I have my headset on now, so... Actually, I'm sure you guys would have told me if it wasn't, so I'm just going to shut up. Okay. 
Perfect. Thank you. And that's a very helpful qualifier. Also, so the other idea I've, I've kind of had is picking like a cliff face like that and not changing the facing of it, but like digging into it. So you get like the kind of like the Pueblo kind of, you know, like little like doors and windows and walkways going along the cliff face. Something interesting going on up here. Perfect, thank you. I'm so glad that I got re-signed up on... Holy crap, we've got a termite infestation. Delicious, delicious infestations. Shale does look really pretty. Look at them all! Also, snail? Or tank? I mean, I'd be silly not to take advantage of all these delicious... Yeah, exactly! Exactly, yes! Exactly! Yum! Why would you not want to eat all these delicious, delicious... At least they're not wiggling. Termites. Hmm. Why did I think they did wiggle? Is that my own head filling that in? Did my brain autocomplete bug wiggle? Good. Welcome in, Ian. How you doing? Oh, those bugs are filling. All of these rocks in the distance look like buildings. Oh, so did that. I think it's just rock formations. It's just they look like building. I should be able to steal stuff from the chest at the back of the, the things there. Artisan. I don't know why I'm marking them. I never... I don't, I don't go to traders. You found- oh no. Oh, you found it the, the bad way, I'm assuming. Oh, we have ads popping in 30 seconds. Um, I am actually going to take a break this time. Last time I was troubleshooting. Um, so you won't miss anything. Um, I'm gonna stand up and stretch and move my legs. Um, you guys should do it too. And uh, I will leave you with uh, a view of all the bug mounts. I will be back in a few minutes.
Stay back. Bakma. I'm having hot breath. I think I'm gonna have to start not putting up my green screen on hot days. Oh, I have dates for when I'm gonna be up in your neck of the woods. It's going to be a, about a month I'll be up there. I will. From mid to late July. All right, we'll see if that works. Um. Um, 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 where is my calendar? I've lost my calendar. Changed it from this, well, the 19th of July through to like 10th ish or a few days after. I know, who are they going to feed on? Like, what the heck? Man, they got me good when I was out there this morning. Jerk. I tried, I tried that, um, ID number thing. So I'll see if it works tomorrow. I'm supposed to be going east. This is not east. Oh, oh, it's the same bloody block. It's the same block number. <gasps> yes. So what can can I ask which which one you went for? Like the standalone or the apartment? This is a big bloody ocean. It's exciting though.
I mean, unexciting location isn't a bad thing. So, the con of that one was that it didn't have central air, right? But then you didn't have the annoying neighbor, less, like you had less neighbor issues. If my brain is doing a remember. I hope it'll go smoothly for you. Yeah. That'll be nice. It's, it's quite liberating. Oh, really? Have they bumped the rent up by much? I bet they have. Joe. Oh, that's some thick forest. I have no idea. Uh-oh. I don't know what rental rates are like anywhere. They, Jesus, they doubled it. Holy crap. I'm getting a bunch of errors on the server, by the way, guys. That is ridiculous. Are oh, you do toast? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's one of them is oh yeah, item locator map. Object reference not set to an instance of an object. Okay, I'll ignore them then. Yeah, you shouldn't, like there's some, not in Jacksonville, but I know there's some cities where there's like a maximum percentage that they're allowed to like. Oh, Ma'am, excuse you. Jesus, yeah. The maps are all duds? I've never seen a map before in this game. <sighs> yeah, I mean, at that price, I think I'd just be wanting a, you know, a standalone place. But yeah, I know, I think they were talking about it in Jacksonville where it didn't happen, where they were, they were trying to put in a cap on how much a landlord can raise rent. Because it's clearly opportunism at that point. Like... It's just taking advantage. Well, I'm glad you've you found a a new home, Bergma. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think a lot of the landlords, they don't realize as well that that it's not uncommon for tenants to talk to each other. The 
like this could still potentially be like an interesting oh this is hey i'm getting close up to where the cavern is now Yeah, no, they still don't work. Thirteen? Oh god. I remember what that was like. One of the, the hardest things when I I left New Zealand. I basically got rid of everything I owned and cut everything down to a suitcase for traveling. And it was really easy getting rid of like the furniture and clothes and kitchen stuff, but the the books, I had so many fucking books. And so I did basically invited a bunch of friends over to look at my books first and then I I boxed them everything that was left after my friends fished through them a friend uh, took took me into a secondhand bookshop and I sold what I could and what wasn't sold was donated to the local library but it was like the hardest thing because I had like some books I had two copies of I had like a reading copy and like a just look at it it's pretty copy It was fine. I didn't have a problem with books. Like this, this could be a nice area, but I can't tell. 2K? I can't even imagine spending that much. Yeah, I, I literally can't imagine spending that much money on rent. And this, yeah, I, the stupid thing is there's a bunch of people without homes and a bunch of vacant homes, like... And while the homes are vacant, they're not being maintained. And it's affecting, like, local economies, like, stores and stuff. You get people into the houses, it keeps neighborhoods active and alive. It's so skeevy. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think it's like that everywhere I've been now. Yeah. Ah, I have some, some very, uh, I have opinions that piss people off about property management or property ownership. And it's like, I think there should be a limit on how many properties one person can own. Or even on what companies can own. It's like, if you, I, my, my personal feelings are that if you buy a home in a city, there should be tax breaks for owning the property, but you need to live in that house for a fixed period of time before you can even consider renting it out. Like you have to actually reside in that house. Yeah. There's, it's like there's some tourist spots like that in New Zealand. Um, in Queenstown, which is like a really big touristy area. So people spend, they they buy and they pay fuck loads of money to get like Airbnb type setups to a point where the people who work in Queenstown, who work at the bars and the snow places and stuff, all the shops and retail, 
have to live outside of town or basically live in real substandard unsafe housing because they can't afford the housing in the town <laughs> because of tourists or because of these investors trying to monetize or take advantage of tourists and that's like it's amazing because tourists don't know what things are supposed to cost in a country so they don't know that they're getting fleeced in rent or in their accommodation costs. It's so silly. You'd be paying far less over a year. Yeah, I believe it. Some of the, the costs, like we live in a not great part of town and they're still asking stupid amounts here. Actually, I'm curious now. All the places I'm seeing on Zillow for rent in my zip are between 1700 and 2k. Even in my shitty ass part of town. But these are houses, not apartments. Good night, Drax. Have a good sleep. <laughs> I'm like, and some of these are really pretty houses. Oh, Jesus. But of course I want them to look pretty. I'm always so sus when it's like, house for rent, and then like the first picture is like a close book for the front door. It's like, what is wrong with the rest of it? That you're... zooming in. So one just around the corner from us is 1650 a month and this neighborhood is they just did a bunch of like cookie cutter uh, new builds in the area Apparently, Zillow estimates that ours would be 1900 a month, according to their satellite footage. That's pretty funny. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Where, where is, where is the sun? Hello, I need the sun, please. I'm trying to find a new home. Mm. Clearly Zillow doesn't know that this is a 40 year old trailer. <laughs> I think at that point the valuation is probably on the land rather than the accommodation. Apparently average rent around here is 1600. crazy yeah it's very predatory well I'm glad you found a place so 
so when when do you move have you got have you got enough time to you know breathe or is it just like go 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 i have no concept of time at the moment so i don't <laughs> oh. okay that's not a bad crossover so that gives you time to sort of get things ready over the air and get comfy oh that's good actually except for the the, the crossover and rent but then yeah that's plenty of breathing space that's good and that'll give you time to to get kitty adjusted as well hopefully Oh, 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 here comes the sun. Aww. But she'll be okay, cause, cause she's got you. Oh, jeez. I think I think I've I've lived here just shy of fifteen. God, that's a long time. That's a th a third of my life. Oh god. It's a really long time. Waiting for the sun to come up. Tomorrow. Hmm. Not digging that is a potential view. It's, God, it's so pretty though. The sunlight. Okay, I'm gonna end up getting blinded by the sun if I keep going. Yeah, I moved around a fair bit when I was back in New Zealand. I'm one of those weirdos who kind of likes moving. Because it, it's like a, a chance for like a good urge and reset. You've lived in the same city? Well, that's okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That means everything's like familiar. Sounds good. I started moving it when I was 15. I was emancipated at 15 and started like moving around Robert the furniture trader yeah 10 homes in four states by the time you were 13 wow it's a lot 
I think actually this is like where I am now. This is the longest I've ever been in any place, even as a a kid. It was like up till nine, I was in one place, and then like nine to fifteen, and then like I said, from fifteen, I was. I was off. I was all over the place at 15. Renting, I was living in trailer parks. I was homeless a while, but I didn't care because I was a teenager and it was an adventure. Son, please, why you gotta be so bright? My absolute favorite place that I, I lived. But actually, my two favorite places were both when I lived alone. I loved living alone so much. My flat in London was really lovely. It sucked to heat up though in winter because it had a 10 foot ceiling. Um, but the place I had, the, the single bedroom place that I had in, in New Zealand was gorgeous. It was dated as heck, like so dated. The, the wallpaper and the carpet was absolutely older than me, but it was really well maintained. And the landlady, um, the landlady is what I would call old money. I don't know if that makes sense. Well, she's, she was from, I don't know where she was from in Europe, but she just oozed like she was she acted like her not she acted her her whole demeanor was like very proper. She was she was a lady. Um you know, you could see her being, you know, doing the whole royal wave. However, if I called her up with any problem, no matter what it was, she would come over with a toolkit and fix it herself. So if it was like a leaky window or something needed to be painted or, you know, like something needed to be fixed in the oven, she would turn up with her hair all perfectly done and her makeup and her clothes looking fabulous and she'd come in and do the repairs. It was so cool. Like, what an inspiring lady. It's just really pretty. Um, and it was right near the airport, so I got to watch all the planes all the time, which I loved. Just sit there and passively get high on avgas. Uh, that was the last place I lived in New Zealand before I left. She was such a cool lady. The things changing up is probably why I don't want to go back to New Zealand because I have such strong memories now. Everything's like reinforced with like super uber nostalgia. I know if I went back now, everything would be just similar enough to be familiar, but different enough to be jarring. And I don't think I would like that. You live next to an Air Force base. We've got uh, a Navy base nearby with an airstrip um, and they do a lot of training out of there as well like the blue angels which is kind of cool I love watching the flames it's funny even when I lived in London apparently there was constant air no uh, plane noise but I, d I didn't hear it Flint would always, always comment on it because he could hear it when we were talking on Skype, but I would, I wouldn't even notice it. It is right. It's so cool. We had that. I remember when it was last year. There was some big fancy air show, and the Blue Angels were in town. Um, but they were practicing before, so instead of like forking out the stupid amount of money to to go and you know, buy a water on base so you could see them. We could just like go outside our front door and watch the planes. And I was like, this is cool.
Oh. Alright, just gonna go this way. I get a real kick out of it, though. Let's speed. Man, I love my old flat. It was like... There was one row of houses between me and the runway of an international airport. So I could sit in my front room and look out the windows ahead of me and I could see planes coming in to land or to take off depending on what the wind was like. And it's a really windy, like notoriously windy airport. So you'd see them come in and sometimes they'd do come and find them. Sometimes they'd come in at like this weird sort of oblique angle or they'd come in doing this. And I'd just be like, yes, this is better than TV. Probably not for the people on the planes, but I thought it was pretty fantastic. Yeah. But I used, they also had a pedestrian walkway under the runway. So you could go for a walk through, uh, like through this walkway and then just like go sit at the airport. And I would do that sometimes too, just to people watch. In plain watch. Oh, there's that ruin over there. We're not going there. My stepdad's place um, used to live across from an Air Force base um, in New Zealand, and they'd get the big um, Hercules planes would fly out of there for training maneuvers um, and like shipping off overseas because it was in the north of New Zealand. And when those things went overhead, because we lived in a valley, the whole house would shake and everyone would be grumbling and I'd be like, yes! speed! It's fine. I'm totally well adjusted. I have to go more east. It's so weird, like, we haven't had any more of those weird hiccups since the little crashies before. So there is... It's <clears throat> kind of... Yeah, see, that's boring. No, I am I am so far away. I'm almost at the eastern edge, I think. I want to be, I want like a lake or a lagoon. Or I, I want like something cozy. I have totally realistic desires for my where I, I build my home.
Meanwhile, it's been literally months since Ferdinand has been fed. Ferdinand II. Ferdinand the first was was um across the rainbow bridge into my belly. My cow. My bull. I named him Ferdinand because I I built this enclosure for the for the aurochs, for the, the bull, and the first and I put flowers in it because that is the appropriate thing to do. Um, and the first first thing it did is it looked like he went over and like started sniffing the flowers and I was like, oh my god, his name's Ferdinand now. This is pretty. Like, the, this is pretty. Hmm. No, not necessarily. We're, we're still in the shortlisting process. I'm still intrigued by the idea of doing a biodome kind of thing. It is pretty. It's within the temperature range or within the latitude area that I'm, in, I'm after. I'm trying to get a place sort of ooh between four and, and five thousand south. So that I can get seasons. There is so much bismuth on this map. Like, ooh. For olivine. Oh, copper. Hello. Look at it. Look at it all. It's just everywhere. And just the, the ground is laced with it. Oh. The game apparently also knows that I like tunnels. Oh. Well, that was disappointing. Ow. Um, so on the mo on the server we have a mod called X Skills. And one of the things you can get is Steeple Chaser, um, which increase, which basically doubles the height that you can walk. So instead of one block, you can walk up two. And I love it. You can level it up further. But it's too much. After that, you you literally start climbing walls. Yeah, it's it's amazing. So it's it's like skills and um like in an MMO. Like the more you use a skill, the more points you learn from it. Um. And we've set it so that you can like, yeah. Um, and we've got it so that you can like unlearn a point as well. So if you want to take a point out of something and put it somewhere else, do that. Um. So if you're on the server and you want you you're curious about this, you can hit O, um, and that'll bring up the skill window. I don't have many points in anything except for... Yeah! 
anything much except for survival but there's some really nice things so like for cooking you can make it so that you can get more portions per craft or um you know you can harvest faster you know, make like just like increased quality of what you make there's get materials back when you're mining or sorry get extra materials when you're mining or smithing it just adds like a little extra something a little extra something something Missing antler item or code antler water for creature deer, water, male, adult. Zulzo! Dag dag! Surely I've got to be running out of east. Zulzo! Yes! How are we? How are we going on that? Ninety-four percent! I think I may have been a bit greedy. Hmm. What is that? Well, this is pretty too. Why do I always end up being like, oh, this is a nice spot. Oh, I can't get any more further south or always just end up at the edge of the map. Though it's not nearly as interesting as the caverns. That's the edge of the world. We are about to run out of east. And I'll be like, yeah, this is perfect. I'll build here. I'm trying to remember where I was the last time I slept, just so I could like get a, a, a death taxi a little closer back. the edge of the world it's really quite unnerving
Just a sudden chop. Let's say it's five thousand. Four and a half. That toast is doing a heck and wonder again today. God, I've just this is so much map open. It just keeps going. Great. I don't know. Do I want to try and turn? Okay. Do I want to try and turn a desert canyon? into a lush rainforest or a lush green place to say the least it could be a fun challenge toast is like do it but you guys found it i don't wanna think i don't what if you I Oasis, it's like a really neat place. All right, well. I'm trying to see if I can, I, I can't, I'm trying to fall off the edge. Oh, oh my god, my stomach! <laughs> I was trying to throw myself off the edge, but I can't. Okay. Okay. It's, it's been endorsed. Okay, quickest way... There's no critters nearby. You know what? <clears throat> I'm trying to decide if I should s swing by that cherry tree and get a cutting. Oh, here we go. Excuse me, kind cow. Um, I need your help, please. Can you teleport me? Hey, help, help. Hmm. All right, where am I? Oh, you beauty. Look, I'm right here. You beauty. It's so, it's very pretty here. So this was one of the spots that I was considering, but But, 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 but. Check this out. Game, please. Oh. And the distance. Here. Massive cavern. Is 
But it was this particular bit at the end that got me interested here. Because it's all in kind, it's all kind of like blah, but like filling some of that in with like I've got, I've got some dirt, but just like making a little garden or something in here. Oh. I don't. Will it work though? Well, I don't know if there'll be enough light. Are you feeling pleased with yourself, Toast? Ah! Fuck off, crab! Jerk. There was a crab in there. Oh, were you talking about the tin that I saw in there? Crabs pinch. Yeah, they did, little asshole. But yeah, there's like three cave mouths. I think. I guess it's not really an oasis because there's lots of green around, but... It's quite warm here though. Like it's already 14 degrees. Yeah, we have to wait for daylight and then I'll get a better idea of what it all looks like. Baby! My coffee's broken. There was a hole in the coffee cup and now all the coffee's fallen out. Not unless you consider me a robot. to my face. Yeah. Serious design flaw. Like who came up with this? Now there's nothing to tempt you. And now I'm going to have to put it out of sight, otherwise I'm going to keep on trying to drink out of the empty mug. <laughs> because I have apparently some object permanence issues.
Well, I guess. Uh, very, very, very surely. But no, I don't need more coffee. It now. <laughs> Literally, yeah. Well, no, starting soon. So like now or in like three minutes or an hour. That's it. There, okay, 30 seconds. I have water. I have tasty void water. Okay, we have ads starting in less than 30 seconds. So if you two need to put some hydration fluid in your face, you should totally do it. Okay, we have done a refresh. And it's still dark, what the heck. <sighs> okay, so first things first. Delete the evidence. No, Amelia. <laughs> oh, no. 
His player Milgit was torn limb from limb. Come join the server, Doll said. It'll be nice and easy and relaxing, she said. Oh, well that's not on. It's a gentle server. Nothing terrible will happen. Did you at least save the chicken? Mmm, rotting berries, my favorite. Yes, exactly. By special request. Yeah, apparently some of the critters on this server have not got the memo. Like the bees at at the the, the toasty ape house have been attacking their chickens. Yeah, bees attacking chickens is not what they mean by the talk about the birds on the bees. Ooh, what if I do... Club. I lie. I don't know what I want to put there. Do know I want there to be a garden. Uh, oh, has your desk arrived? Is your desk set up? Did you get cheese? amazing congratulations oh that's a good sound i'm literally just putting this here as storage that's that's still new I forgot I picked that up. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. I I picked them up at a few different places, and I was like, these could be interesting for I don't know, like fire grills or something. I've just been casting them about. Yeah. I cannot believe how long this night is taking. <sighs> yeah, something like that.
Wait, can I? Oh, I can't do anything with that. All right, so I guess I need to. I need to get some wood. I don't have a saw with me. see a little silhouette of a toast scaramouche scaramouche oh no not trash juice but now you're clean and you have a desk and yeah i saw a toast but toast vanished yes did it good there was a toast again Oh, I don't need that one right now either. Uh, sure. That's totally what I mean to do. What are you up to? Suspicious toast is suspicious. Okay, Amelia. Toast, are you running away from me? <laughs> I sense shenanigans. Oh! <laughs> Toast bought dirt. Thank you, Toast. No, I was talking. <laughs> I was talking about replacing the sand here with dirt. <laughs> Oh, that's a whole lot of seeds. Thank you. Hey, what is that? Ooh, fruit bread. Oh, hey, I'm hungry. Whoa, holy crap, that filled me all the way up. Really, really need... The, the sun to come up but what I'm thinking is at least around the edges of this pool of this like whatever this is I want to put like trees and ferns and stuff But I don't, I can't decide if I want to try and go back. Oh god, it's so far away. If I want to try and go all the way back up here to get like some of my things, if I should just leave them for someone else. I 
Oh, we finally. Man, I'm getting some serious pickups for today. Yeah. So yeah, I can like go up there, pick up what I want, and then die to come back. I've traveled to like the easternmost part of the map. But yeah, this this part I think I want to turn into like a forest. I think that would be quite neat. And then, I don't know, a garden in the middle here. I'm curious actually what's up there. I'm just getting these placed just so that I'm not carrying it. H. Yeah, I said I don't know if I want to go get stuff or just like start over here Really? That's that's the block you're gonna pull that bullshit on? Fine. There. So, it's actually like, what is it, seven o'clock in the morning? It's pretty bright in here. <sighs> yeah, so Toast and Ape found this, and apparently thought of me which was very sweet and i was trying to find somewhere to live in a an area that fit what i was looking for and i wasn't sure but the more i thought about it the more i was intrigued 
and I was last night I was just like this this area here I just thought would be really neat if I could fill it with like like the k-pop trees and vines and just like I don't know like all the different types of trees and ferns and stuff I think it'd be really pretty like a little biodome type thing yeah and then in this area under this sort of spotlight here a garden like actual crops biodome wait wasn't that the Polish shore one hi tom Yeah, some sort of like crops thing here. Can rabbits get here? Hmm. And then the answer is always yes, little assholes. But why do rabbits not go for? Wild grown crops is the question. Oh, Tom, I'm going to be uh, house sitting for Dean and Jesse uh, July, August. Yeah. So if, I mean, I'm not there yet, but you know, you should totally, if, if you're in the area, totally swing, swing around. I don't drive. Um, yeah, this, so this is, this is the place that the Ape and Toast found and I was like, yeah, this is, like we're gonna build a house here. Yeah. Maybe I could just like put something in this little alcove here for like housing with extra light. That would be pretty cool actually, because that would be the outlook. I'm not going to get far with that, am I? Um, I don't know if it's for for work, like for Jesse's work. Um, but yeah, Sadie and Emma would be collecting me, and then Jesse would be bringing me home. Let's see what's up there. Yes, that that's the um the primary there is is dog doggo slash house sitting. Oh, there's some copper right there. Hmm. Ouch. 
Shut up. Oh. I'm gonna need more dirt. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna need to grab some dirt blocks. Be able to explore this without getting stuck. I kind of thought there might have been a little like pathway up there. Such a drama queen. Not oh so smooth. How the heck did I get up here? It's very, very... Are you floofy? Did it make you floofy? <laughs> oh, I love the color though in your hair. That red tint is really showing through. What has it done to your curls? It is definitely very. It is absolutely very. Wait. Actually, that's kind of a cute letter. Yeah. It's very different. There is. See if we can make some space in there. Wait, what is that trader? Agriculture. to size am I gonna am I gonna get seasonal change here it's still winter maybe Why didn't I bring my saw? Oh. 
Okay, so step back. Yeah, they play make some molds. That's probably the best solution here. relax your girls I mean there's definitely a lot less spring Hopefully it feels okay though, like it's not feeling like greasy or heavy or anything. Like, oh, now I have to make all this crap again. The mechanic is really cool, but like, you know, once you've done it once before, I'm good. I don't need to- I have no desire to keep making him. Like, let me make a mold for balls and then just like squish the clay into it and then I don't mind firing them. just try to turn it like I would if I was smithing. Alright, um, where 
shall I set fire to things? Yeah, it will do. All right, what else do I need to make? These. I really should just like ugh, batch create them. It does, but I'm already, like, having to make a fuckload of things anyway. I do like the sound. It sounds like a very fun experience to watch. Lucky lady, I am. Thank you. Thank you for being a lucky lady. How goes Operation Resist No Man's Sky? Frickin' Sean. What a bullshit is that? Not even the usual couple of days notice. Yeah, I was like, oh, super excited. And then I was like, uh, I 
actually. Mm. It's nice to let them. Yeah, otherwise I would feel obliged to. Uh... Do the thing. The thing with the thing. Frickin' Sean. But like, normally he at least gives us a few days notice, and this time it was for like 10 hours. Hey. Okay. So rude. So I was, I was very, very taken with the whole, like, this time you're alone. I was like, oh, sweet, sweet aloneness. Yeah. Yeah, we were talking about it earlier. I'm just like, I'm, I'm done with all the, uh, Right? Like, how cruel is it for, to have that opportunity taken away? I'm done with the demo next first things this time. I just... I, I know it ticks the box for a lot of people, but it just stresses me out. My inbox is just getting, like all of try my demo try my demo and they all look like amazing games but i i don't have the spoons well that'll be fun i'm gonna rely on all the cool streamers i know playing the cool games so that i don't need to I did. I had one that I was sent that looked really interesting. That's, no, it wasn't that one. Oh, I think I must have deleted it. <laughs> it was like a relaxy music type game. I have no idea. It looked it looked interesting. And I had another one sent that they said they sent because I'd played Spore. I was like, oh, maybe. What happened to all my- oh, say I used all the sticks, building ladders. No sticks for me. I don't get no surface. Action. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, 
<laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this, but I guess I've committed to it now, so... Well, that's a heckin' chunk of a tree. Uh, that's too pretty. I can't cut these trees down. Look at them. Yum. Ah. Apparently I'm hungry. Like, I did eat before stream, but I didn't have very much. It was too hot earlier. Yeah. Just like standing out in the kitchen, I was like, I'll go grab a snack on my next head break. Wait. Uh -uh. Pretzels. One, well, it won't fit in any box. just tried to kill me wait where am I well I hadn't got around to killing it yet Sounds good. We used to have, um, Pancakes with ice cream on. It's like a lazy summer dinner when I was little. Well, that worked out well, didn't it? Guess who doesn't have a torch? That's okay. But yeah, it's it's already been hitting like 90, 95 in the kitchen. So I've been using like the instant pot and the slow cooker are great for days like that. I did like pasta and meatballs the instant pot because it doesn't take long. And then you just, you know, like put frozen meatballs in the bottom and, and then a box of pasta, jar of sauce and jar of water and that's it. You just leave it for until it's done.
All right. May or may not lose the like current pushes there. I'm glad I was walking around with like a random. Ooh, mood lighting. The random pile of peat. almost got a charlie horse just from biting a pretzel Maybe can you like put the book somewhere else? And just pretend that it's meant to go there. I love my instant pot for summer, just so it doesn't even heat up the kitchen. over there. That's totally valid. Well, who is going to check a board floor? Thank you.
I don't know if I had a favorite Disney movie. That's not too many. That's just the right number of favorite movies. I mean, my favorite animated movie is probably Home. With the boo. I've really I might have enjoyed Lion King except for the fact that it was just in time for my sister to get of an age where she would obsess so when my sister was little her favorite movie was Land Before Time until she discovered The Lion King and then we watched The Lion King so many times, the tape and the video cassette snapped. Stretched and it snapped. Mm. really remember any movies particularly when I was a kid I remember being traumatized by a few but like Like the never ending story. That one gave me nightmares. And then there was a New Zealand movie called Foot Rot Flats. And there was a scene in that that made me cry so much my granddad had to take me out of the theater. That was when I was like six, I think, six or seven. Hmm. The Jim Henson stuff is dark. Yeah, I don't know. I can't think of any any movies that particularly took my attention. All right. The ad's starting shortly. I'm going to take a break and go grab a bowl of cereal. I'll be right back. You guys should go get a snack and a drink too, and I'll see you soon.
He returns with zero. Now you will have to watch me eat cereal. It's very exciting. Hmm. Oh god, you don't hear it, can you? I don't think you can. You mean... The boombox box? Does your, um, your chair fit your new desk? Oh, that's great. like little clear um clear plastic mats that you can put over your rugs that'll make your chair glide about and protect the rug from being squished you might need to get one of those Um, all right, let's go foraging. the copper was it up there didn't mark it I don't know why I didn't mark it. The site was around here. As it was. Go 
Cargo gadget memory thing. Thank you. I just realized I've got all that tin. I need to make sure I've got copper. I guess not. That was it. Just a little bit. Whoa, God. should still get me yeah we should be alright that clay go? Yeah. Rightfully so. None of it leaked.
Pipes grabbing. Why my hair doodad seem to have vanished? I think there's a little monster that eats them. No. Neither one of them came in my room, really. Give me back my hair doodads. Yes. All right, charcoal going. my bar stools. Almost every single bar stool had a screw loose. Ended, instead of buying new ones or drilling new holes, I ended up using a trick my granddad taught me, which was to stuff the holes with matchsticks. And then put the screw back in. And it works. The match thing will work on particle board too. But yeah, not not great.
the 20 yeah oh my god <sighs> people uh freaking people use nails instead of screws oh it triggers me so much My, um, dearly departed father in law had a very unique brand of repairs. Which was They're still fun to encounter to this day. You never quite know where you're going to find. Fuck knows. What are you going to find? Anything. He was really good at sort of MacGyvering fixes. But they weren't necessarily good fixes. Oh, look at that. If it was, yeah, no. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm still slowly finding plumbing treats that we've inherited. So I need <laughs> yeah. It's amazing.
say... There. Um, well, I guess I started there. Oh, that sounds like a nice treat. Oh, that looks interesting. you would have had to make room to get the desk in and around. Oh, that's so frustrating. I like, I absolutely love shuffling furniture around. And like re rearranging things in a more efficient way but no matter how i brain it i can't improve on what i have right now and it drives me nuts Well, that's poos. Oh.
What have you got planned for tomorrow? Three day weekend. Ooh. It'll be nice if we can get a bunch of stuff done. I said my weed eater and my lawnmower broke last week in the same day, basically. And I'm very unimpressed. The lawnmower is not too well, the lawnmower didn't break, but I need to get a replacement blade for it. If it had done it a few weeks ago, it would have made it so much easier, but we've had really warm, wet weather. Oh boy. Alright, so that's ready to go. That'll be done, and then we can get this going and get. another pickaxe. Chop another tree. Ah, it's so dark. Bruh.
I don't have any food on me. Oh, now I've got some green. That'll do. Why are we coughing? No, that's cheating. And there's like three or two other people on the server. I don't want to be a cheater. I mean, that's why I tend not to grant myself admin power. Well, there's plenty of grain growing. Moo cow! Ashley Eason, what is eating these? Ashley. I gave I gave myself admin yesterday so I could fix some blocks that were oh that were bugged out I plan. and then I was just like Arr. Enjoy your Wendy's. I hope it is delicious. All right. Oh, look at all them big trees. That's a whole lot of oak. Whew. Well, at least I'm set for lumber. Speaking of which, I need to chop a tree, but not like a big tree. Are there any like in between? Yeah.
I have to go out into the sandy area to try and find some more copper. Oh. All right. Pineapple saves. Alright, what a brown coal. Um, say a thing. Perfect. I don't know where I'm going. The wrong direction. Not surprisingly. Sounds like something worth investigating during the daylight. Spotty, isn't it?
Oh. Thought it was just gonna be bismuth. Oh, bismuth and something else. Need to go further west. Yeah, a lot further west. More. I'm gonna lie, the cow scared me. Is that quartz up there? I can't tell if it's quartz or borax. I'm pretty sure that's quartz. No, no. They're not, they're not ghost cows. Quartz. Yeah, bollocks. It's very exciting. I know I found some borax, but I fucked <laughs> if I know where. Oh! Actually, that's not that far away. Soap it is! Yep. Man, oh, it was so good when we finally got that washing machine. I still find myself appreciating the smell of like proper clean clothes. Like more so than usual. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not like it was a big hardship, but after three weeks of hand washing, I was... I was ready... for... a washing machine again. So ready.
Alright, so we've got... Oh, actually... Whoopsie! away smart though good planning there do that <laughs> yeah <clears throat> the time has come to do your duty honestly I was really impressed like the other one the other washing machine we had was fine um but I didn't... <sighs> um, the one that we got as a replacement was second hand as a, a Maytag front loader. And I've never used a front loading washing machine before. Um, but I'm really impressed with it. It does a great job and it uses so much less water, which is really nice, and less detergent. Uh, it, it's honestly surprising. Yeah, I, I keep mine open, basically. <clears throat> when I'm not using it, it just stays ajar and I keep the drawer open too. I remember I was looking up how to soak in a front loader because I'm not familiar with them at all and the people are like oh by the way when you have a front loader you need to let it like dry and I was like why okay so I've just been leaving it open after every wash yeah My, the main problem I'm having with it, yeah, well, we had to do that too as well, actually, because our last one started getting really kind of aromatic, especially in Florida with it being so muggy all the time. Um, what did I come out here looking for? Oh, Reeves. Oh yeah, the main problem I have is getting the laundry out of the washing machine. And then into the dryer basically requires me to crouch. It's really hard to do sometimes. Yeah. It gets it gets pretty gross here too. 
I found um vinegar. Is a a good planer as well. White vinegar. For all sorts of Yeah. It's handy, but it's good to help clean like the lime scale and gunk off the washing machine too. Look at us being all domestic. Reaps. Is it Ooh, so close? I like the uh, the wool dryables, but my god, the amount of hair they pick up of oh, mine. So much here. Which I mean, I guess that it means that they're doing the right thing, but yeah. <laughs> hey, Brenda's, yeah, I. I, I shed a lot. Not as much uh, since I changed the way that I, I wash my hair, but still a lot. Oh, one of those ones that's like a squeegee? Hmm. Oh, it is time. Thank you, Bakma. Oh. <clears throat> oh, um, so I don't, I don't wash my hair. It sounds weird, but I wash my scalp, but not my hair. So the shampoo only goes like, on the crown and you rub it into your scalp but not your hair and then when i condition i only condition like from here down and it made a big difference to how much hair fell out and just how like the condition of it because there's enough like soap that runs off from your scalp to like clean your hair without like stripping all the oils out of your hair already hmm I made a big difference <laughs> thanks it's uh I've moved on yeah <laughs> toast is drug again it's definitely worth giving it a shot, but yeah, so it is. It's your scalp that needs to be washed, not your hair. So if you keep your scalp clean, and also you end up using less shampoo. So, you know, that's a bonus. Um, But yeah, I take us I've moved on from a, a dirt house to a, a sand house now. You'll be pleased to know. Relieved, perhaps. Um, but yeah, it, it does feel <laughs> a lot stronger. It does help a lot. 
No, it's a Kevin is more home. Well, see, that's the plan. See? Um, in the entrance to that cave, I'm going to plant like a bunch of trees. Funnily enough, I learned about the washing the, the scalp knot here from a YouTube video. Um, fucking sand. And I was like, fuck it, I'll give it a try. Because I was just, like, my hair was constantly getting, like, knotted and matted. And then when I went in to get my hair trimmed last time, um, the hairdresser was like, I said, oh, you know, my hair's probably in really bad condition. It, you know, lots of split ends. And she was like, it's actually in really good shape. What do you do? And I told her and she's like, that'll be why. <laughs> she's like, most people just overdo it with shampoo and it, it strips all of the natural oils out of here when it's still up here so by the time it gets down to the mid lengths and long lengths it's all ready to like frizz and break which makes total sense but it was just not something i'd ever thought of before oh god Oh, I missed one. Um, so it's like a, a really big lake in here, actually. So I've already planted a few trees. Toast bought a bunch of dirt over for me. Oh, I think I'm going to need more sticks. <laughs> Ape and... Oopsie. Ape and Toast are just, like, getting shit-faced in-game. So there. Are you sure about that, Abe? I I miss physical books so much. Okay. Let's get this going. Look at that 
bunny just camping the garden. He's just waiting. Alright. So... It's on the server, honestly. I I very very nearly started accumulating books to put in the we had like a, a couple of bookshelves in the family room. Um, but then I had a look at the ones that were in there and realized that uh, it's too hot, it's too muggy in there. So the books that were in there were like already were sort of mildewy, and that made me really sad. So I didn't want to. I didn't I didn't want to buy books and have them go off <laughs> literally like I didn't want them to get moldy welcome back so and even in, in this room like when I'm not in here I have my AC off my computer and my AC off so the temperature is just not really stable so, so. Very close. What did you have? <sighs> no, no, I won't. <laughs> A Wendy's Frosty and fries. still have some pasta and meatballs on the instant pot but I had a bowl of cereal just before so I'm good sixteen plus the random awkward book that won't fit in anywhere else be fine well you've got movers right they can do all the chunky lifting
So we want 160, 20, 80. Yeah. There. Is this going to be enough? Hmm. Usually. I mean, I think so. Historically. I think this is getting hot now. Ah. Why is this not heating up? Oh no, there we go. There we go. I don't think I've ever had movers. So that's doing the thing, that's trying to think. get some more, smash some more boulders. Like, man, it's really dark. Why is it so dark? Weird. Because I left my lantern. where it's not dark yeah there right there all right oh Well, that's something.
All right, what do we got here? So the next job is a Like with the curls cascading down the back? I get a bucket so I can fill in them bits. We're just waiting for these to cool and then I can make a saw. And what else do I want? Nope. That's not the case at all because I don't have an anvil. I guess we're off to go and get more copper. Flower. Oh, silly, I'm a rabbit. That's true, I was thinking of Thumper. I guess that one's all done. That's fine. I realized as I said it, I had it wrong. And the ears are just so itchy right now. Let's 
still. It's like a constant thing and it's driving me fucking nuts. Did I do that? I don't think I did that. Well, we don't have any meanies here. Did I do that? I think that's it there. Yeah. Oh shit. Mayonnaise. Now I want a sandwich. Okay, but first... And then you just drink it. Translocator. I'll take that too. Don't mind if I do. Take free storage. real estate
turn on. Is it worth carrying on down here? No. Worst that happens is I get lost and then I just self eat. Oh my god, this place is a maze. Self eat myself, as opposed to self eating someone else. Nothing? No? Oh, that was disappointing. Bummer. Alright, so that one was boring. What's up here? Hey! I don't know. Maybe it depends on the, the intention. Oh, nothing down there. More tin. I mean, I'm here. It's just like collateral damage. Oh yeah. I'll have to go never nosy. This is a lot of copper. Oh, uh, tin. I find gross ones more entertaining than the ludies, lewd ones. Lewd ones usually just make me uncomfy.
Yeah, I was just like, that was a, a lot. 55 mediums, it's 550 units of 10. If I can get copper, enough copper, I can get myself a bronze anvil. Oh, shit, there's more. <laughs> but wait, there's more! I'm being kind of lazy when not like checking surrounding bits, but <gasps> that would be cool. Where I said the offer stands for uh, if you want to join the server. There's no aggro things. There are locusts and drifters but they ignore you completely it's quite rude actually you can punch them and they're just like eh whatever It was just from like one little teeny bit in the corner and I was like, what's down there? I mean, if it's any consolation, I frequently starve to do here. What? Oh. Well, the nice thing, which is what I did on the last server, I just kept some crops always unharvested. Oh, shit. That's sewer bite. Know what that means. Um, but yeah, I just leave some crops always unharvested or make sure I plant before I logged out and that way there's always something to eat. What is that? This, oh, right under my house. Oh, hey, give me the bag. Oh, oh, oh god. Give me that. Give me that too. No, not that. Yeah. Not that either. Not that. I want that. I want that. For that. Okay, I think I'm just going to have to come back. A silver star! <gasps> yeah!
Oh, where did I put that? Bordered color? All right, we'll come back. like very close to my house so there's a translocator even close okay that's just silly so there's one in that cave and there's one right there A chunk away. I, I do. I was wondering if that second one I found was the one that you were talking about. Oh, that's really cute. I guess I've already read that one. This is not efficiently arranged. Oh, when I said it, it wasn't efficiently arranged, yes. Right, right.
These shadows are bizz bright. I was just like, what is going on? It's kind of menacing. Whoopsie. I'm hungry. Thanks, bunny. Yeah, I was like, sorry, bunny. A girl is hungry. You trying to stay up? That sounds like a good idea. Why a sensible? I went to bed at like 10 o'clock last night, so... Not like super early, but it was for me. Have a good sleep, friendo. Here it is.
is not necessary to make that much noise when it's literally just sand. Completely unnecessary. So we have a long way down. Put all my dirt away too, so that was useful. I just, it blows me away that the translocator is just like right there. Unnecessary.
The same beer, Amelia? Weird. Delicious, delicious books. Soybean seeds. <sighs> oh, yeah, the, uh, the f the fiery place. I haven't seen any content on it. Make sure you take plenty of breaks. So much fire. Good. as well. I'm kind of like on the fence about Valheim at the moment. I really enjoy it. Like every time I play it, I really enjoy it. But I end up doing exactly the same thing, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. But what I do in Valheim is basically what I do here. <laughs> Holy crap. It never ends. It's it is a fun game though. Like I don't want to yuck on someone else's yum. Like the last time I played it was with Flint and Ally. And they just enable the building. So I just 
build and they bring materials and Oh well, hi! Speaking of the devil I did. We had that big old lighthouse. That really tall lighthouse. I was just saying how when we played Valheim last time how I'd build and you'd just sit there <laughs> you'd, you'd just keep bringing me building materials enabling me to do what I do yeah and then Flint would go off and Ali would get killed Okay, this is just silly. Yep. It also works if you say bread or ice cream. You look in a mirror and say ice cream bread popcorn and then turn widdish in three times uh it can quite commonly summon ali i have some vanilla ice cream and i have some orange creamsicle flavored ice cream Then there's more down here. I think that'll do. Yeah, it's it's dangerous in here if you if you're feeling snackish. Very dangerous. some powdered borax all right carrot get
Okay, I gotta find food. I managed to like explore like absolutely fine for months. Spring comes around, I'm in one place and I start getting hungry. Because I'm in one place. Oh, well, I do have some crops planted at least. And also a lot of my travel was done with the raft. So I didn't burn through a whole lot of energy. Apparently, my browser has decided FFZ contains malware. Hey, fire! Fire! Hello? Uh. You don't know what you just did if anyone sees that on the logs? Am I. What am I. Pyro, thank you for 45 months. Well, now I'm suspicious. Data logs. Oh, God. Turn up the heat. What am I suspicious about when someone's like, I don't know what I just did on the server? It's like. Amelia, what are you doing? But, well, you didn't. Uh, nothing there. Oh, Pyro, this is... Uh... Not so light. I lift... Oops. Um, this is, we were on a cert community server right now. Amelia closed a barrel and opened a quern. Oh, okay. I'm like, you opened a quern, you monster! <laughs> oh boy. How dare. Um. Creepy how much I can spy. I'm drunk with power. Oh yeah? Hmm. Network stuff or power surges wiping people. Just know I'm always watching. Oh no, what a bugger. Well. 
I plan on this ever being around a while. These pretty sunflowers. <laughs> Aries. Fuck yes. I'm sorry, you're super busy at work. Oh, you know what? I guess it's okay if you have to actually like work sometimes. Ugh. Rude. I'm not, I don't have a stack of dirt on me. I'm not going down there. I hear bees. I I can't remember because I was kind of oblivious. But did you pop in last week during my 24 hour stream? Like I was I was really not with it. I don't remember a lot of that day. missed it oh well I'm not gonna do a do-over surprisingly no like no clip Yeah. Surprising literally no one. I did kind of like fade a couple of times, but like my first uses.
But the funny thing was, by the time I ended, I was just like so fucking wired. I didn't even end up going to sleep properly until midnight, even though I finished at 5 p.m. Yeah. Second and the third. <laughs> All right, let's see what I can get. I don't I don't think I'm going to have enough, but some lighting out here all right I need a lot of copper It'd be a lot easier to check this area if it were daylight We did okay. There were definitely a couple of uh, moments there that I, I did really struggle. But I was lucky in that I had company for almost the en entire time. And I, I wouldn't have been able to do it without company. Size. God, this music is so familiar. One year I had away from Epidemic. Sorry, sounds right. I had one year away from Soundstripe and listened to Epidemic come back, and these songs are familiar. <laughs> Oh, 
Alright. Oh, I have a cooking It's the inside, that is true. Oh, jeez. Mining a stone or ore with a pickaxe has the chance of five percent, one percent, not to reduce. Ah. The digging ones just didn't really. Like, I don't care. Raining party! Hey! That is a time wanderer. Doing a hick and raid. Hello! <laughs> something happened? I know. Playing something different. Weird. I found a cave. Welcome and thank you for the raid. I don't know why that sounded so plaintive. <laughs> um, but welcome in everyone. Wait, unicorn? Unicorn overload? What? Did something happen? Um, welcome in everyone. Hi, I'm Deliria, my pronouns are she, her, and, uh, I play this game called Vintage Story sometimes. Occasionally. I dabble. I'm, I am so quick on the mark today. It is ridiculous. Really? That's fantastic. Well done. Now what? Never seen this game before. Never. I just happened to make an emote that kind of vaguely looks like a bad dude from the game. But it's just luck. Your luck. I really need to get some lighting situated here. I keep on getting lost. And 60 units of copper. <sighs> What's the ratio? It's like one to nine, right? Ten to ninety two copper.
There we go. Or one less tin and one for copper. Um, yeah, fuck them in. I feel like I forgot something. Did I forget something? A hundred. I don't know. I'm concerned now that I forgot something obvious. Hi, hello, welcome. Welcome to my house. I would say we have cookies, but I ate them all. But we don't have So that's going to get me my anvil. Hmm. a hell of a run from your place over here. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, perfect. Ooh, crab nugget stew with boiled turnips and chopped deer ear. Well, that sounds fancy. I really want to get that one one in the pit near me opens. I don't think I have a single doodad though. I've got the metal scraps, but I don't have any of the gears. It's kind of ridiculous to have two of them lay just like right there. Is it a particular trader that sells them, or is it just luck? Oh, excuse me. Actually, that reminds me, I need to look up. Treasure Hunter and Commodities. Why does Edge think that FFC has malware? See. I don't think it's even updated in ages. There is no way these are going to taste delicious. I'm looking at liquid iron drops. Because...
Oh. Yeah, this one might be a good one to have. It's iron and vitamin B12. Something to look at, I guess. I'm not, uh, uh, I, I need to plant more stuff. I think I might just like use medium dirt rather than the high yield stuff. Also, I'm pretty sure my pretzel packet is working. Yeah. Same problem as my coffee cup. Broken. Unbelievable. I forgot that I had the... Hundred and ten. I forgot I had the thing, the point, and uh, eh. I forgot I had it. Spring has sprung like a leak in my swimming pool.
No. Whoops. My bad. Stupid weak stones. Good for nothing. I'll just save them for throwing at things. It should work for that. It'd be great if they took hydration from the blocks underneath, but they don't. That's not the one I wanted. That's the one I want.
once we get that end we'll see it things will be a whole lot easier I like this weird little pattern that it's doing here. Actually, the other use for the conglomerate stone is making fencing for now. pretty quickly. Oh, not that one. I how as I go. Oh, that's interesting. They picked up water. Um and I don't have to worry about trampling the blocks.
Alright. This is such an ugly age. Hate it so much. But, uh, stops the bugs, bugs, critters getting in. Really? That's that's your. Sure, that makes total sense. All right, let's get some more stuff to plant. Let's get this. Planted, and I'll finish that off. Random garden ness. Oh, it's finished. Hey. Twenty six days and twenty hours. Jeez. Someone's supposed to be streaming right now. Okay. So oof, let's get this taken care of before. We want to make a saw blade and shears, I think. And that'll just make it a whole lot easier.
you know what i need to put something here just to remind me is that gonna be hot enough i don't know what the te workable temperature is for uh soul blade And shears. Yes, shears. I want to quench them in a big deep pond that I'm going to potentially lose. I think I'm gonna call it there. It's almost midnight. We've done good. Um, tomorrow. Oh, my eyes are sore. Tomorrow's Thursday. I have I have like no fixed plans coming up for this week, so. Oh, you know, maybe I'll just play this for a change. Or something. I don't know. We'll see. Wow. <laughs> ah, I know. I know, Bachman. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Um. I have like no brain 
her right target. My brain has fallen off. Man, I think think the uh, the Sims goal will be done tomorrow. Uh, honestly, oh, thanks, Buckma. How I don't know who to. Why is it so hard? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I, I what? I'm a raid, uh, say Dotson. Uh, he's a fellow Daredevil streamer. I don't think I've raided him before, um, but he seems pretty nice. <sighs> um, so I'll be back on tomorrow from 4 p.m. Eastern with, I don't know, something. It might be a bit late, depends what time the pool comes in. And if we decide that we want to set it up tomorrow, I'm going to try and level the ground and shit first. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out. I, I did have fun today. I worry that maybe I don't look like I'm having fun. Um, but it definitely, I did enjoy myself and shut up. All right, I'm gonna shut up now. I'll see you tomorrow. Here's the raid messages. <laughs> okay, bye. I'm such a good streamer.